You've heard of BOGO, of course, buy one, get one free. Well, here you're doing LOGO. You're learning one and getting one free because you're going to learn one simple operation that gives you two very important values. One, it's going to give you the broadcast address for any given subnet, and it's going to give you the range of valid IP addresses that we can put on hosts for any given subnet. We know how to calculate the number of valid hosts on a subnet, but obviously if we're going to assign them to hosts, we better know exactly which addresses they are. So whether you need the valid address range, the broadcast address for a subnet, or both, we've got it here with one quick operation. And here's a sample question, you'll see what I mean. What's the range of valid addresses for the subnet 210.210.210.0 slash 25? A little, bit, a little bit of a cheat there on the 210 three times, but it illustrates what we're going to need to do because what we need to do is, Ill, is convert the address to binary and identify the host bits. You don't necessarily have to draw the mask out underneath. I'm going to do that in our example here. Uh, you don't have to do that on exam day, but you just want to convert the address to binary and identify the host bits, which is what we've done here. There are three basic rules to remember when you're coming up with the subnet address, the broadcast address, and the range of valid addresses. First off, that address with the all zeros, we know this from earlier when we we're doing the number of valid hosts, but let's refresh. The address with all zeros for the host bits is the subnet address. And it's also known as the all zeros address, and this is not a valid host address. Now, we don't really have to calculate that one because we're given that one. We're told here's the subnet. Well, the, the number they give us is the subnet number itself or the subnet address. Now, the address with all ones for host bits is the broadcast address, which is also referred to as the all ones address for that subnet. And this is not a valid host address, but everything in the middle is good. So all addresses between the all zeros and all ones addresses are valid host addresses. Well, we don't really have to calculate the all zeros address. I know I said that a moment ago and I'm saying it again because they gave that to us. But the rest of it, they're not really giving to us. So we better have a plan for that. And here's our plan. All we need to do is change the host bits to one on that address. And let me bring that back up on the screen. When you look at it this way, you've got it written out in binary. And we know with a mask of slash 25 that the last seven bits are the host bits. We know that. 32 minus 25, seven host bits. So first question is, what would this value be? What would the address be if those zeros were all zeros? Well, they already are. The answer is 210, 210, 210, zero. What would the address be if all of those zeros in the address were set to one? If every host bit was set to one? You want to be careful with this because some people jump to and say, oh, 255. But we only have seven host bits. We don't have eight. So if we have those last seven host bits set to ones, that's a total of 127. So your broadcast address for this subnet is 210, 210, 210, 127. So everything in the middle, 210, 210, 210, 1 through 126, that's your range of valid IP addresses. And it's just that simple. It's just that straightforward. What I want to do right now is bring a dock up. And there we go. And we're going to start with that particular address. And we're going to go ahead and do our conversion practice here too. We're going to do all of that and get in some extra conversion work. So let's start with 150. And with 150, we know we can subtract 128 from 150 leaves us 22. You can't subtract 64 or 32 from that, but you can subtract 16. So I believe that will be a remainder of 138.6. You can't subtract 8 from 6, but you can subtract 4 from 6. That leaves 2. That leaves 0. And that's it. So you can quickly again check your math and mine in this case. 128 plus 16 is 144 plus 4 is 148, plus 2 is 150. So there's your first binary straight. Let's go ahead and convert 10. That's a pretty quick one for us at this point. We know the first four numbers are going to be 0. You can subtract 8 from 10, and that will give us a remainder of 2. There you go. Remember when you thought this was hard? 64, nothing to that really. And 
just for fun and giggles. We'll write that on out. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of breathing room here. My binary string, and I may have to shrink this up a little bit. Yep, let me shrink that up a little bit. There we go, 28 will do. So there is my binary string, and the mask that I was given was slash 18. So how many host bits do I have? I have 14 host bits. There are the 14 here at the end. See where I got that from? Those are our 14 host bits, because the first 18 bits are our subnet, that's our subnet mask. So the question is, first off, what would this address be if this was all zeros? Well, we know the subnet address is 150.10.64.0. Got that, with well, a slash 18, of course. What would this address be if all of the host bits were changed to ones? Be careful here. <laughs> be careful, because if you're just concentrating on the host bits here, it would really be easy to say, oh, well, you know, this is 63, and this is 255. Well, if all of these bits are set to 1, don't forget that the 64 was already set to 1. So if we set these all to 1s, what's that going to be? Let's go beneath that. Okay, so that's where our mask ended. So if everything else here, all of our host bits are ones, the final answer, the broadcast address is going to be 150.10.127.255. Gotta watch that. So we got a slash 18 there, but remember that 64 bit was already set to one. That's not covered in our host bits. So everything in the middle is a valid host address. So that would start with 150.10.64.1 and end with 150.10.127.254. That's your range of valid host addresses. That's all you have to do. Again, in some, in some examples in my books, I do go ahead and draw this out uh, in, the, in the book, but you really don't even need to do that. Just take the subnet you're given, break it down into binary, identify your host bits, which in this case were right there, the last 14 bits of the address, and just say to yourself, okay, what if they were all zeros? Well, that's already done. Then, what if they were all ones? What would this address be? That's your broadcast address, and everything in the middle is a valid IP address. That's it. Practice makes perfect. So we're going to do one more video with these, actually, and walk through another couple of examples and again, just keep on drilling. We're going to get ready for success on exam day. I'll see you on the next vid.